Um, hi, my name's Leslie, and most importantly, I play for Moss Park Hockey Club. Um, I guess this is a story of how knowing a few girls through hockey meant that I ended up making, with the help of my school and many other people, 1,700 face shields for the NHS and many other key workers. Um, it all started with my friend Joss that I know through Moss Park sending me a text asking, do I have a 3D printer? And the answer was, yeah, I've got two in my kitchen, but they're still in boxes because I haven't assembled them yet. And she said that her GP practice didn't have any face shields and could I help? And I was like, um, sure, but like, I'm a secondary school teacher. Are you sure you want something that I've made? And she was like, I've got nothing. Anything will be better until we get the proper stuff in. And I was like, sure. I mean, I'll help. Um, first off, thanks to all the DT teachers out there that were sharing their designs and their ideas. And by looking online on Facebook, I found that I could make some quicker than setting up the 3D printer by hand by going to my workshop. So I rang the head at Blessed Thomas Holford's and he said it was absolutely fine for me to go in and use the school. And the first prototype I made was so shoddy. Um, <laughs> the picture you have of me as a key worker is me literally like this wearing a face shield because I'm saying to Joss are you sure this is what you want like this is fine and she replied back like yeah brilliant can I have as many as you can make and I was like um okay and um I got the kids over from sixth form to come and help me and we made a little production line and we got one of the history teachers involved and we made 20 of these face shields and they were so rough I mean they were held together with uh, cable ties and the back was an elastic band which we'd stapled in place and put gaffer tape over the staple so it didn't scratch anyone's head. I mean, they were so rough. And I put them in the back of my car and drove them around to Joss and was kind of like, I'm sorry. And she was so happy with them that I was quite shocked. And um, she asked, could I make her some more? And I was like, um, like, if you want, okay. And she said, yeah please, these are brilliant. And I was like, right. So I went online and thankfully by this point, Smoke and Mirrors had published a design that was able to laser cut. So that really sped up production because I was able to go to school and use my laser cutter. And then I was cutting the face shields by hand at a PVC. And then the kids were assembling the polypropylene headbands. Thank you so much to my head who let me use the school resources, children, materials, and everything else that we used. Um, I gave these to Joss and she was delighted with this version. They worked really well, apparently. And I thought I was kind of done. And she posted on our hockey group chat that I'd done this for her. Next thing I know, one of the girls that works in an ICU unit um, for COVID-19 was like, can I have 50? And I was like, oh, 50 seems a lot, but yeah, sure, I'll see what I can do. So me and the kids went to work again and we made 50. Gave them to her and she was like, these are brilliant. Can we have another 50? And I was like, um, okay. While we were doing this, one of the teachers at school posted on Twitter what we were doing to show people, you know, school's still open, we're still here with the key workers, this is what we're up to. And Altrincham Today got hold of it and reposted it. Next thing I know, we have got so many orders that I've got the admin team on site trying to deal with the emails we've got coming in. I've got the tech caretakers running around trying to find materials for us. And just everyone is on board and hands-on trying to do all this stuff for us. Our media correspondent is now on Facebook asking to help with materials because we've run through everything that's in the school. And yeah, it was quite a surprise of how many people wanted stuff. So we did what we could. And by the end of it, we helped hospitals, paramedics, GP practices, school nurse teams, mental health teams, a lot of care homes needed help, uh, a funeral director, um, vending machine repair teams as well. So there were a lot of people out there that ordered them and we gave them freely. So thank you so much to everyone who helped me. I mean, I had the laser cutter running at work and the kids working there. I did set up the two 3D printers and I had my boyfriend at home running them while I was at work and then I'd come home and deal with them. We'd send them off to 3D Crowd UK who would sterilize them and then hand them out to NHS workers as well. So thank you to absolutely everyone who was part of this. Moss Park, Blessed Thomas Holford, 3D Crowd UK, Smoke and Mirrors. You were all brilliant. So it wouldn't have been possible without you. Thanks very much.